Welcome. My name is Dadara, and I'm an artist. And most of my life, I've lived in a kind of dream bubble. And I always connected, or at least tried to connect that dream bubble to reality. And inside the dream bubble, I kept the curtains closed. And from behind the curtain, I've always looked at reality. And wow, it's amazing out there. It's often so weird, and it just makes me think. And I have all these thoughts in my mind. And I often wonder, do people out there also think about the world? Or do they just like or dislike? We live in a super connected world. But sometimes it makes me wonder how connected we really are. Are we really connected here and now? Or are we now so busy updating what happened a few instants, moments ago, that there's kind of always this delay and we never reach the now? And are we really here? Or are we so busy twittering hashtags to the outside world that part of our energy is focused outside and part of our energy is focused here? But before I'm going to continue about the here and now, I want to take you back to a time long, long ago. And I hope some of you still remember that time. It's the time before Facebook existed. And it's kind of obviously you can still imagine that time. But can we still imagine a time without a future, without social media? And actually, a few months ago, this September, we took people back to that time before Facebook existed and tried to make them realize that they could like each other and connect with each other back then. And we did so in the Nevada desert at the Burning Man Festival, where we built a big altar with a big golden like on top. And everybody who came to visit us, we guided them on their path to spiritual enlightenment. And what I noticed is that somehow people don't really value direct experience anymore. They, I mean, a lot of people, they just seem to collect photos to post and like, collect likes from those who they probably don't even really like. So people would come to us, I mean, already on their bike, they would be taking photos. And first thing we would ask is like, please put your photo camera away and try to experience the artwork. Take off your shoes, read our like festo, a manifesto we wrote about liking. And when you climb up, like every stage is a step towards enlightenment. Feel it, try to experience the artwork. And then when you come down, of course, you can take like many, many pictures, but at least you'll know what you took a photo of. And it's kind of maybe difficult to realize, but reality still has more pixels and is more HD than the screen of your uh, iPhone. And the, the project also proved to be controversial. And Burning Man is a very special place. It's based on a gift economy. Money does not exist there. And it's about decommodification. So there are no logos. There's no corporate branding. But suddenly, I mean, people saw this big like, and it was really big. So they could see it from three miles away, and it would go like, man, this is horrible. We are not going there. It's like judging a book by its cover. Or there would be all these people biking by going like, hey, we like it. But they would not even get off their bike and gates in our performance. They felt like the likes on Facebook, which kind of, I mean, people like a link, but do they really click the link? Or when they click it, do they like what they see? And eventually, at the end of the week, we burned that like down. And by doing that, it was a kind of symbolic act of taking the act of liking from its virtual realm and giving it back to its natural reality. And after that, I mean, that is reality, we had to clean up everything. With the whole crew, there were like 30,000 screws inside. It was a whole day of picking out screws, everything. But the night of the burn, and until then, I'd been organizing the project, managing it, building, performing. I was always surrounded by people. But suddenly, in that night, for the first time in ages, I was alone. And it, it, it's, it was one, I think, of the most amazing nights of my life. There was just me, and there was the fire. And I had a shovel, and I was constantly, because I needed to make sure that everything would burn, so was the shovel. I was all night long, I think till the morning, shoveling wood onto the fire. And sometimes there would be this occasional passerby that would ask me, like, fire master, do you want a whiskey? But for the rest, I was alone. And normally, as I say, there are always all these thoughts in my mind, but suddenly my mind came to a, just a grinding halt. There was nothing. I was there in the moment. And I also mentioned that I, I feel often like I live in a dream bubble, so there's one foot of mine in the dream world, one foot of mine in reality, 
But suddenly there was no dream world, there was no reality. Everything had become one. And what I would like to do is recreate that feeling of being really connected in the here and the now, together with you. But before I'm going to do that, I want to ask you something. I want to ask, and the lights are bright, so I can't see if all of you are following my uh, question, but to all take out your mobile phone, smartphone. I know a lot of you already have it in your hands. Maybe stop uh, twittering, or I'll give you two seconds to stop twittering. And hold up your phone in the air so I can see it. And then what I would like to do, actually hold it up so you can take a photo of us on stage. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to connect with you and take a photo of you all photographing us. Hmm. It's not the best photo, but still. I think it's the moment we have to remember. We, I don't know if I'm going to post this on Facebook. And <laughs> now, I mean, still hold your phones in the air. And what I would like, to, and maybe this is going to be a very strange question, and maybe some of you have never done this before in your life, but I want you to turn off your phone. And I mean, I'll give you a few seconds you can like, like for real on Facebook, if you quickly want to do that. <laughs> okay, turn off your phone. And then what I would like to do is recreate that feeling of connectedness being here and now, and we want to guide you on your path to spiritual enlightenment in a like meditation. So first, I would like you to take a deep breath, and then I'll connect like this. And then, by now, there should be a movie, yeah. Are you all connected? And feel your inner like, open your like chakra, and try to be silent, and try to be really here. Ah, that was great. Yeah. And before I'm going to leave this room, since I actually really, really liked that you did this for real, we want to give you a token of appreciation, like a real like, so I'm not going to like all thousands of you on Facebook. But when you go to the exit, you'll see people with a like shirt, and they'll give you a like banknote, a like with some real value. Thank you. <laughs>